There's certainly been a renaissance of retro-influenced arcade races in recent years, but is there space in the market for another? I'm Kutsky, and this is my review of Slipstream for Nintendo Switch. Get ready! I've always credited the OutRun series as being my favourite racing games of all time, specifically OutRun 2 and its variations, so I was really excited to discover that Slipstream takes heavy influence from them. To be super reductive, Slipstream takes the mechanics of OutRun 2 and wraps them up in the style of the original OutRun game with a bit of extra flair. The game has three core mechanics, drifting, slipstreaming and rewinding. The drifting is essential to take even the most mild of corners and is activated in the same way as OutRun 2. A quick dab of the brake, then back on the accelerator to turn your car sideways to navigate the corner. There is an option in the game to turn automatic drifting on, which I thought would remove the enjoyment, but as drifting is so essential to almost every corner, I actually found this method quite enjoyable, especially whilst I was getting used to the feel of the game. The game's namesake, Slipstream, is also very important to success. Simply drive directly behind a vehicle in front of you to get an unrealistic yet highly satisfying turbo boost. And the last gimmick is the rewind feature. Holding Y will give you the ability to rewind time to retake that corner you've just completely messed up. I did find this feature kind of broke my flow in the game a little bit, so I didn't really use it too much, but it was nice to have the option there to avoid the frustration when you mess up that last corner of the perfect race. One of my favourite things about Slipstream was the amount of fully fleshed out game modes. The most obvious one is the Grand Tour mode, which again works exactly like OutRun, racing the timer and arrival through five different stages, choosing your next destination at the end of each stage. There are also more traditional modes such as single races, repeating laps of any one stage, time trials, elimination modes and a Grand Prix mode where you can race a season of tracks for points to determine a winner. Possibly my favourite is the Cannonball mode where you can choose to race up to 30 tracks in an order of your choosing which then seamlessly blend one into the next. There are 15 unique stages in total, each with a different aesthetic, which stops the game feeling repetitive. There are also five different cars to choose from, each having their own balance of speed, acceleration and handling. The game also has a robust multiplayer mode where up to four players can play most of the different game modes in split screen. Honestly, I would have really appreciated an online multiplayer mode, but you have to be realistic with the work that's going to be involved in implementing that against the price and scope of the game. The standard screen options are all here, such as CRT filters to give you that old school look. I always like these to be included, but to be honest, I very rarely leave them switched on. But anyway, it's nice that they're here and they look fine. Slipstream, in general, is an excellent classic arcade racer. It did take a few goes to really get a feel for the handling in the game because it's so drift heavy, but once it clicked, it's super satisfying to play. And all the different game modes and unlockable trophies give you plenty of reasons to keep coming back. As I mentioned at the start, there are a lot of great indie retro inspired racing games that this has to compete with. But Slipstream does seem to have a very strong focus on what it wants to be it does feel unique compared to other games that look similar. If you're just looking for a casual blast of nostalgia, it might be worth checking out some of the original retro re-releases on the Switch, such as Sega Ages Outrun. But if you're in any way a fan of the genre and are looking for a bit more expanded experience that still has that nostalgic vibe, I don't think many people are going to be disappointed with Slipstream for the launch asking price of £8.99. Hope you enjoyed this review and found it helpful if so please do me a solid and drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to keep up to date with any future videos i'm still holding out for that outrun 2 re-release but with the problems with the ferrari license on the cars starting to think that that window's closed forever sadly well this has definitely been a good filler for the time being anyway thanks for watching until next time this is kutsky signing out keeping the games alive